Welcome to The Daily Me, the place for insights into life and business. Hello there and welcome back to The Daily Me show. It's nearing the end of another busy week, productive week, but therein lies the very problem that I want to talk about today. And that's actually giving yourself permission to take a break. Now, I'm the worst at this and I've been told off more than once by my beautiful wife to take a break on the weekends, don't do any work on the weekends. And you know what? That is so hard for me to switch off and just spend some time doing the things that I enjoy. You know, for example, last night we went out and we went to a a basketball game and I had the best time, you know, just sitting with my kids and my wife and just having a great time and the atmosphere and the, I guess, just the living that happens when you go out to an event rather than being all work and not much play. That makes for a a pretty dull life. So I want you to give yourself permission to take a break, to take that downtime, because I think it's, I think it's nourishment for the soul. I think it's important for your family. And I think it's important for your mental health to step away from the business. And I think a byproduct of that can be clarity around your business, your goals, your objectives, the things you want to achieve you got to stop and think, well, am I going to stress myself out trying to achieve a goal like writing another book or getting X amount of growth in my business? And really, at the end of the day, how important is all that stuff? I know it's important to have these goals because as human beings, we're goal setters. But one of the goals should actually be just to enjoy life. It's so easy to get caught up in the busyness of, of a day and you know, and, and then thinking that if we work an extra five, 10 hours a week, whatever it is that you can think you can achieve, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, does it? So again, if you're, if you're working long hours and you, you know, maybe you've got some, um, some timelines to meet, that's fine and dandy, get them done. But in a month, look at how much time you actually have to live your life rather than build your business. Because I think without one, you can't have the other. If you don't have your health, you don't have a business to grow because you're so focused on getting back good health. So I'm hoping that this call has been useful for you and you were able to take away this thought. Maybe you're on that cusp of saying, you know what, I'm almost breaking here. I'm just, I'm overloaded. Because the last thing you want to do is break down. And, you know, the last thing you want to do is just collapse through exhaustion and not have that energy to be around your friends and withdraw and, not go out with them, not have social events, maybe even watch a movie, whatever it is that's your thing. Um, All that being said, I'm really hopeful that this has been useful for you. And until tomorrow, see you then.